this video, we're going to multiply the binomials 1 minus 5x and 3x plus 2 using three different methods. The first method uses algebra tiles. This method works best when your binomials contain relatively small integers. To use this method, start by using one of the binomials to represent the length of a rectangle. Use the other binomial to represent the width of the rectangle. Now use the dimensions to fill in the rectangle. The first piece is 1 long and x tall. Use these dimensions to draw another tile. Now move to the next space. The second piece is negative x long and x tall. A negative value multiplied by a positive value gives a negative value, so this tile is negative. Continue this pattern to fill in the entire rectangle. This inner rectangle represents the product, but it can be simplified. There are both positive x tiles and negative x tiles. These can be combined into zero pairs, which will eliminate these tiles. Remove these pairs one at a time. This is now the final representation. Count the number of each tile type to determine the product. 1 minus 5x times 3x plus 2 is equal to negative 15x squared minus 7x plus 2. Let's look at a second method for multiplying binomials, using grid multiplication. Start by writing each term from the first binomial horizontally into the top of the grid. Next, write the terms from the second binomial vertically and complete the grid with empty cells. One cell at a time multiply the terms. 1 times 3x is equal to 3x. Negative 5x times 3x is equal to negative 15x squared. 1 times 2 is 2. Negative 5x times 2 is negative 10x. Now use the inside of the grid to write the terms of the product. 3x minus 15x squared plus 2 minus 10x. This expression contains like terms and can be simplified further. Adding the 3x and the negative 10x terms gives negative 7x. The other two terms remain the same. The terms of a polynomial are often written in descending order by degree. Usually this means putting the largest exponents first and the smallest one last. So the binomial 1 minus 5x times the binomial 3x plus 2 is equal to negative 15x squared minus 7x plus 2. The third method we're going to look at for multiplying binomials is multiplying symbolically without a grid. This method usually takes up the least amount of space and time. Many students favor this method as they become more comfortable working with polynomials. Start by writing out the factors of the binomial multiplication. Next, multiply each term in the first binomial by each term in the second binomial. 1 times 3x is 3x. 1 times 2 is 2. Negative 5x times 3x is negative 15x squared. Negative 5x times 2 is negative 10x. We've multiplied each term in the first binomial by each term in the second binomial, so the multiplication is complete, but as before there are like terms. The 3x and the negative 10x terms combine to give negative 7x. The other two terms remain unchanged. Finally, write the terms in descending order by degree. 